Okay, you on the roll, baby. All right, on the roll. What's the date today? Um, Friday. Friday, that's not a date, that's a day. <laughs> Castanel is European, she gets her dates mixed up with what a, what a day is, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, Nobody's perfect. No. So. Right, I'm on the way to uh, pick up my son, Chase. He's uh, lingering somewhere on Biscayne Boulevard and 79th Street. Oh, it's hot. I get to take off my jacket. Uh, you, by the way, the weather, we went down to 40 degrees this morning. Check the old weather gauge here on the, the technology of the cars. It's 63. So it's, it's pretty good here. I guess it's all about global warming. Yes. Yeah. I guess this global warming crap is... Uh, it's creating the differences in the temperature in the barometer. Uh, look at this. Already in the car, I got a, I got a phone call from my son. Hold on. Where are Where are you? All right. So where was I? I gotta go pick him up at Whole Foods. Oh, the one on the. On uh, one, yeah, our favorite place. Did you see my? Uh, because I'm gonna get some uh, tea for this global warming stuff. Global warming. I think the snow banks up north are so huge because all the global warming people are hiding underneath the snow. <laughs> yeah, well, I heard somewhere it's gonna be the end of the world. Yeah, this, yeah, the snow drifts are gonna end the world now. Shit. You know, like the vo it's gonna be a snow drift vortex. Yeah. Do you ever hear of such crap in your life? I know, I don't want to get all the, uh, what do they call them, sec, what are you doing here? I'm, on, I'm, I'm on TV here. <laughs> oh I don't want to get the secular progressives. Secular progressives, that's a great what name. What is that? Well, a secular progressive in America is a communist, a Marxist, and a national socialist in every other part of the world. But in America, we're very clever. We coin phrases. And we think that because we coin a new phrase, that Americans can do it better. I guess they don't know the history of the world. I mean, they try to coin phrases in, uh, you know, uh, when the Bolsheviks and the Marxists took over Russia. That didn't work. Didn't work. I guess then when uh, National Socialism came in, redistribution of wealth they were talking about, and you know, leveling the playing field when that came into Germany. I don't think that worked. They live all the so now, people. America, you know, has got the uh, progressive, secular, progressive fever. You know, it's all about priorities, baby. On a totem pole of life. You know, where is your priority? Is it in same-sex marriage and choice? Is it in... Uh, you know, far left liberal ideas on that totem pole, or is it protecting Americans' freedom, having a strong military, being economically sound? I don't know. I'm listening to Rush Limbaugh. You want to hear Rush? Program I'm telling you. Or you want to hear Wolf Blitzer? Wolf Blitzer and his gang of zeros. <laughs> I mean, you got to be brain dead to listen to CNN, MSNBC, and those stations. I mean, really, I mean, you had to have an IQ of nothing, zero, you know? Nobody challenges anybody on those. I remember as a kid watching Walter Cronkite and those two other guys, Brinkley and somebody else. Trust! I don't know, I, I, they put a big, you know, banner about these journalists today. I don't think there's such thing as a journalist. I think the paparazzi know more about what's going on than the journalists. And certainly those rags do. <laughs> because I don't see how great these journalists are. They go to these major colleges, they graduate with journalist degrees, and I don't, I don't think they can find their own shadows, to be honest with you. They, I, think, I think they need to strictly go to college and learn how to read a prompt. You know the prompts? You sit up there, you read a prompt? Yeah, they can't even, I mean... That's all, all you got to do. Yeah. But me, I don't know. I listen to all kinds of news. I try to stick with those that have a... Fair and balanced? Is that what Fox says? Megan Kelly, baby. Wow.
bright, 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 bright. And then Brett, Brett Hume, bunch yeah. of guys on those, on those stations. You know. Well, even O'Reilly, he's he's pretty fair. Well, he's a little bit of an ego, ego man. I met him, by the way, yeah. years ago. He was working with a girl from Massachusetts, from Wabbit, by the name of Nancy Glass, which was one of the first people that had those magazine-type shows on television. I was in New York City, and I was in Mickey Mantle's on the southern part of the park. There used to be a Mickey Mantle's restaurant there. I walked in to have lunch, and Mr. O'Reilly was sitting in a booth. And I went over to him, he was very cordial, very nice. I told him I knew Nancy. I don't think Nancy knows me. I think if she saw me, she would know me. And um, told him I was from Newton, she was from Auburn. She was a cheerleader, very bright. And uh, he was very cordial. Um, and that was my, uh, my quick story about Mr. Bill. Billy O'Reilly, you know? He's cool. The Irish. In Boston. Grew up with the Irish. Yep. Tip O'Neill. Anybody remember Tip O'Neill? Congressman Tippy O'Neill? They don't make politicians like that anymore. They don't make Democrats like that anymore. Kennedy Democrats. You know? Yeah, Not the these funny. socialistic left... What's her name we got down here? Uh, oh, Wasserman. Weiss, Weiss, she got too many oh names for me. Man. Now she wants to rename the Democratic Party as the Socialistic Democratic, whatever you call it. Yeah, whatever. This is the political hour, by the way. This is Shecky's political hour in the car. I got to tell you, though, it's gorgeous out. No clouds really in the sky. Aventura looks beautiful, 63 degrees. On my way to pick up my kid. A lot to be thankful for. The Rolls Royce. Yeah, and by the way, there's more. I want to show you this. See this? Rolls Royce over here, one of many, you know, one of many guys that are not on food stamps. Typical Aventura, it's like Beverly Hills here. It's like Beverly Hills here. Get the camera back on me, will you? There you go, there you go. I hope you are. This on. is the Beverly Hills of the East Coast. It's an incredible place. <coughs> How's the director doing? Are you comfortable uh, in your whatever. director's chair? It's a little difficult, but... It's difficult. I know. Yeah. Look at me, I'm sitting in light. I could get mugged, this light is so long. <laughs> what kind of light is this here? Unbelievable. Yeah, well, be patient. I'm not patient. There you go. You got no choice. You got no choice. How about if I honk my horn, huh? No, no, stop it. Hey, I want to honk the horn day. Stop. In America, they get a day for everything to, you know, to, to, to capitalize you know, on, on streams of revenue. I think they need a honk day. Bam, bam, boom, bam. I uh, stop it. It's <laughs> annoying. I'm annoying. Yeah, you're annoying. All right, we're passing fresh markets. That's a pretty decent place. Panera Bread, you should have bought that stock. Right? Yeah. Yeah, now we're leaving Aventura. And we're entering North Miami Beach.